Manchester United are searching to sign a new midfielder before the summer transfer window closes for business and, according to his, the Red Devils, alongside Aston Villa, were in constant conversation with Brazil and Atalanta ace Ederson. Finishing an otherwise dismal 2023-24 campaign with an FA Cup win against their local rivals saw Eric Ten Hag keep his job in the dugout and, with the expertise of his new-look team, the ex-Ajax custodian has signed a quartet of new stars this summer. Striker Joshua Zerksi, right-back Nusser Mazraoui and central defender duo Lenny Yoro and Matisse de Ligt have all arrived through the doors of Old Trafford as the club, under new minority ownership, look to climb up the table. Man UTDI move for Atalanta ace Ederson. Employers value him at 60 million euros, they don't want to sell. Atalanta midfielder Ederson celebrating. Ederson, on the back of his side's Europa League winning campaign in 2023-24, has caught the eye of many top European clubs this summer, including Liverpool, ahead of a potentially career-defining move. The twice-capped Brazil international, 25, is also of concrete interest to Manchester United, with his reporting that the 13-time Premier League champions are in constant conversation with all relevant parties over a switch. Recently, GIVEMESPORT sources also revealed that the Red Devils' attentions had turned to the Atalanta midfielder following their collapsed move for Paris Saint-Germain outcast Manuel Ugarte. Aston Villa, ahead of their Champions League venture, are also keen admirers of the former Corinthian star and, especially on the back of Douglas Luiz's exit this summer, are keen to add more bodies to the centre of the park. For the report, Atalanta boss Gian Piero Gasparini is, understandably, reluctant to let the midfielder out of his grasp this summer and, as a result, has slapped a price tag of £51.09 million, 60 million euros, on his head. His performances last season have seen him described as, formidable, and, extraordinary, too, adding to his reputation. It's no surprise that he has piqued the interest of plenty of clubs across Europe, however, Given that he was a revelation for Gasparini in the center of the park last term, netting seven strikes and notching the solitary assists in 53 games. Frankie de Young eyed his alternative option. Man UTD will spare no effort in pursuit of the Dutchman. Manchester United's interest in Barcelona's Frankie de Young is no secret, having previously tried to sign the Dutchman in Ten Hag's first summer in England. Their pursuit was to no avail, but reports have suggested that club chiefs are still keeping tabs on his situation. According to Sport, the Greater Manchester Club will spare no effort in their attempts to sign the former Ajax man, who played 59 times under Ten Hag's watch in the Netherlands in the final weeks of the trading period. His asking price is thought to not be a problem for the potential suitors, but what could be a stumbling block in the race for his signature is his weekly wages. De Young, 27, is the highest earning asset in Spain's top tier with him pocketing £618,000 per week. Manchester United started the 2024-25 Premier League campaign with a narrow 1-0 victory over Fulham at Old Trafford on Friday night courtesy of summer signing Joshua Zerksi, but they also suffered an injury scare and could be handed a massive blow going forward. Matisse de Ligt replaced Harry Maguire in the 81st minute and Sky Sports posted on their live commentary page that the England international was limping and holding the back of his right leg as he went off. It remains to be seen if the Man United centre-back has sustained a serious injury, and manager Eric Ten Hag will hope that is not the case. An injury to French centre-back and summer signing Lenny Yoro in preseason forced the Red Devils to quickly wrap up a deal for the Netherlands international centre-back, but their options at the back could become thinner should Maguire become unavailable for selection. Luke Shaw is already out of action until next month while Tyrell Malaysia is yet to return to first-team training having missed the whole of last season. Diogo Dalit filled in at left back against Fulham while summer arrival Nusser Mazraoui made his debut at right back before he was replaced by Johnny Evans. Man United have three centre backs available should it be confirmed that Maguire has picked up a serious knock, but starting another campaign with injuries to key players is the last thing Ten Hag wants. The Red Devils return to action next Saturday with a trip to face Brighton and Hove Albion, and they will be keen to make it back to back Premier League victories.
Their win tonight was far from impressive after they left it late against the London club, but they got the job done in the end and Ten Hag will hope that keeps happening as the Dutchman looks to challenge for the Premier League title this term.